Yo, what is up guys? This is the Brick Joe here. And today we actually have the announcement of the Lego Hogwarts Magical Trunk. So this is one of the 2022 sets we were expecting. And we have known about, we got a little bit of detail about it, but now we have the actual images. Kind of see uh, what they were talking about. Um, now, uh, just right off the bat here, I mean, if you just look at the box art, it honestly reminds me a little bit of the uh, Newt's case. Um, this was um, from Fantastic Beats. Um, it's sort of that same style as in kind of open up the, this trunk and then there's some, uh, you know, items and, and a little bit of, uh, you know, displayability in there as well, but kind of comes in that unique sort of form factor. And also too, you can see on the front box art, there is that key, uh, that key piece that is going to allow you to open and, and close the trunk. So definitely a unique set, but I will say, uh, for me personally, I don't think there's a whole lot of. Uh, good displayability options for this. Well, with the trunk closed, it's a little bit, um, it's just, it's tough to tell really what it is. Like, a, like you know, a, a Hogwarts trunk really isn't like a, uh, you know, iconic movie uh, scene piece or anything like that, especially with the inclusion of all of the house decor on the outside of the trunk. So this is going to allow you to customize it uh, to any of the four houses or do a combination of all of them, which is, which is present in the box art there, but you can change that. And also, too, when you open up on the inside, you're going to have a couple of different options uh, of what to include. One of them is going to be uh, the sorting hat ceremony. The other one is going to be um, the uh, common rooms. And then the other one, too, I think is just another uh, great hall scene. So overall, um, the inside to me is interesting, but in the sense that it's kind of like the Newt's case where it's just sort of, in my opinion, a little bit of a hodgepodge of just different elements or different pieces, beds, things like that, where... Um, it, it's really hard to have a lot of uh, displayability with the, with this trunk open in my in my personal opinion, but definitely a very interesting set, a unique set. Um, but yeah, overall for me personally, I'm not I'm not super excited about it, uh, mostly because of that displayability uh, reason. But uh, moving on to the minifigures here, we're gonna go go ahead and get six minifigures, which which is a plus for this set, I think. Um, one of the things uh, that I'm ex personally excited about in regards to the minifigures is you get the torso pieces with, with the scarves in. Um, I think that's going to be a nice touch to have. In addition, we're going to have colored hands, which is supposed to represent, you know, gloves during during the winter time. So in that sense, I think those are interesting uh, minifigure pieces we're getting from Harry Potter here. And then moving on to the price of the set, how much is it going to cost? So it's 603 pieces for $60. Okay, I mean, personally, I just don't know if it's really worth it for that price. Um, I think it's a little pricey. You do get six minifigures, um, but it, it does seem like the set itself has a, a more smaller pieces. And for that reason, it, I'm not sure if the value is going to be there for everyone, especially if you already have, uh, you know, a lot of these minifigures. Like I said, you might be getting new torsos. But as far as, you know, characters and things like that, it's Harry Potter. You might already have these and. And I think for that reason, for $60, it's a little bit overpriced, but I could see this set being one of those sets that goes on sale easily for 20% off right away. So if you're thinking about it being like 48 or so, it definitely comes into range as, as being, you know, a, a decent buy. But at the $60 price mark, I think it's it's sort of a, a tough sell there. But um, guys, that's sort of the, the first set we've seen in 2022. So the 2022 sets were originally uh, scheduled for March, uh, March 1st, 2022. And I, I believe the other ones are probably going to stick on that schedule, but I think there's no way that this is going to be not only going to be pushed out to release in March. I mean, we don't have the images and everything. In my opinion, this is going to be a January release. Um, but yeah, we haven't really heard anything official on that. Like I said, originally we were uh, hearing March first, but I think right now it's going to be January, just based on the fact that we already have these uh, have these images. I will say too, the box art for this set for some reason I just really like it. I'm not sure. What's going on with the front there? If it's just a little different shade than usual, or it just really fits nicely into the background scene. I just think box art uh, from that perspective is really cool. And it, also, if you're into this as well, I would never uh, do this uh, personally, but they give you a lot of stickers, I think, to put on the trunk and stuff like that. So I think for kids and stuff like that, or like I said, this, you know, I, I always kind of mention this too, is that it might be a good, you know, uh, got to get a set for the birthday or something like that, whatever. This might be a decent option just because, um, you know, there's just a lot of, uh, I guess, say features or kind of playability or, or, like I said, being able to customize it yourself with the stickers. That is a plus for some people, um, not me personally, but if you're into that, that's also a nice little touch to this set. So, guys, that's the Hogwarts Magical Trunk. 
personally, I think it's okay. I'm not, again, not really excited about it personally, but I could see why uh, some people are maybe interested in this set. Uh, big plus, though, is you get those mini fur torsos with the scarves. That's, uh, I think, in my opinion, a key feature to this. So, guys, that wraps up this announcement video for the Hogwarts Magical Trunk. If you guys are new here, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, it's the Brick Duo, signing off. Yeah.